Alrighty guys, so I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm gonna explain how to get how to easily connect to the internet without a network adapter, Ethernet adapter, Wi-Fi adapter, or just any adapter. Because the only adapter you're gonna really need is USB. Except you're not exactly gonna need a wireless USB for this. So yeah. So basically I'll be showing you how to get this thing called PDA net, which allows you to use your phone to connect to the internet for free without having to use like a mobile hotspot or anything like that. It's all free. And basically I I started I did just yesterday I installed Windows 10 on my not exactly installed but upgraded Windows 7 to Windows 10 on this machine. As you can see there's a net gear adapter but Windows 10 is being such a dick. So yeah, this is the only other method I could turn to, so yeah. So now I'm going to be doing this for you all, in case none of you have like internet or anything like that, but have an Android phone or something like that. So yeah, what you're going to need is an Android phone. a USB charging cable, a USB flash drive, and another computer, which in this case I'll be using a Chromebook. So yeah. So first of all, I'm going to be showing you what you have to do first. So first, Open up your phone, go into the Google Play Store, look up <laughs> PDA Net, and yeah. Install this. It's a little app that allows you to like easily connect to the internet through your Android phone. And basically, if you all have Verizon, as your phone service provider then you're in like I do then you're in luck because Ver Verizon happens to easily have these in the app stores well if you have another service provider then this may not work because you're probably gonna have to look at all the APKs for these or something like that but if you have Verizon like I do then just go to the Play Store so yeah that's out of the way and then, and now just another app you're going to need for this is the FoxFi key. And basically, it will still work without the FoxFi key, but if you use PDA Net without it, then it's going to basically after five minutes the whole thing will disconnect and s it'll say your time is up so this thing probably costs like about seven eight bucks but if you want to get it for free I can show you how First of all, open up Google and type in Aptoid APK. So you should have this. So, yeah, you should be on this page. And yeah.
and then once you download that then open up the Aptoid app and look up Fox Fi Chi and click this one it says supports PDA net and it unlocks the full version of PDA net so yeah you're gonna wanna download this and then once you're done with that then go into then open up the PDA net app and scroll down and <laughs> hear the full version and mind the full version is already unlocked but if it says if you have something here that says unlock the full version then select unlock through key I mean at least I think that's what I chose when I did it and yeah and then now we're done with this at least for now and now you're gonna need the computer So yeah, so now we're going to open up Chrome, yes I'm using a Chromebook to demonstrate this, and yeah so we're on Google now, and we're going to type in PDA net for Windows, so then click this and you should be at a page like this and then just click this and then the e exe should be in your downloads and then next up put your flash drive in and then basically go into your downloads folder every computer has one so yeah here's the file then just copy it and then just go into your flash drive here it says USB drive and if you paste it then right here you should have the exe file then um, then depending on what computer you have if you have Windows you can just remove the flash drive but if you have like a Mac or a Chromebook or Linux you have to eject alrighty guys so now the next step is to connect your USB flash drive to here and now I'm gonna show you what to do So now I'm just going to depending on your computer if you have an older one then just go to my computer but if you have like Windows 8 then go to this PC but if you have Windows 10 then go to File Explorer click your removable flash drive mine has a G on it and the setup should be right here and yeah so now I'm just gonna exit out here because 
I already did the installation. So basically just follow the installation steps and do what it says. And now I'm going to show you the next step. One thing I forgot to tell you all earlier is go into the Android settings go all the way down to developer options in order for this to work you have to check off USB debugging the only way this will work is if you check off the USB debugging because otherwise this isn't gonna work guys so yeah so now I'm gonna show you the next step which is to connect the USB charge cable to here first off on your Android phone you're gonna wanna open up the PDA net app and make sure you activate USB mode make sure you have activate USB mode checked and now I'm gonna connect this to the phone make sure activate USB mode is checked so now I'm just gonna reconnect the my phone and this is what it should happen as your last step and device attached click here to connect PDA net and now over here it should say connected and now I'm going to demonstrate Google Chrome so we're going to go into Google and see if it works first off we'll see if it's connected I mean down at the bottom right corner it should say network internet access no wait my bad so just click into Google and test it out and yeah works and uh, hopefully I did the best job I could explaining this so yeah all the way from my phone I'm doing this so yeah and also steam works with this and black ops 3 works with this and and black ops 3 actually runs really well through this internet connection so yeah I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video